<clears throat> Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carlos. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be playing with a strainer. We're going to be playing with some paint and uh, we're going to see what happens. So, I'm not going to freaking talk so much. I'm just going to get down. Let's get down. <laughs> Hola, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so, trying to avoid making these super long videos. And I think it's when I just keep talking that ends up, you know, I don't know. Obviously, I'm working on my editing as well, and sometimes I forget to edit stuff out. So, here we have our strainer. Here we have a round piece of Corian. All right, take two. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a change of plans. That last part was a complete fail, as you can see. There is some paint all over the place. Well, not maybe all over the place, but it just didn't work out. So, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go with an old school modified Dutch pour. What do, what do I mean when I say that? You'll see. If you are new here and you haven't seen those old videos, then you should go check them out. I made like a million of them, so I think I named them all Modified Dutch Pour. <clears throat> and if you haven't, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, so ignore all that. Let's just get done. I'm going to pour a base layer of white. I'm going to go thick on this one. Simply because I don't like this mixture and I want to use it up. Just gonna tilt it around, get an even-ish amount of paint all the way around. We're gonna call that even-ish. We are going to then torch our bubbles. <clears throat> so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to puddle just like a normal Dutch pour my paints I'm going to do it right there in the middle add these colors and then Typically, when I do them, I usually do them on my oval pieces or even on a square piece. I usually do it down towards one side and then blow outward this time around. And keeping in spirit with all these blossoms and puddles and flower pores or whatever, we're starting in the middle, we're just going to blow stuff all the way around. So now with this, we are going to pour our white paints around. Now, two ways I, I used to do this, I would either blow the paint over with my mouth or take a craft stick and gently cover. I'm guessing I'm going to do the covering it with the paints. Try to do it all in one swipe without going too crazy. Just like so. And let the paint settle for a second. Hopefully it doesn't blend too much. I see a good couple little areas that are blending pretty good. <coughs> We're gonna then attack it with the torch. The power of time lapse. Ooh. So instead of shaking it vigorously like we normally do, we're just going to ever so gently tilt it around. Let some of this paint settle deeper into the, I don't want to call it a canvas, the Corian piece. I'm going to torch it one more time so we can get some lighter color in some of those darker areas. And now we're just going to blow. So obviously this seems very close to that flower technique. What the hell is that called? The bloom, blossom, whatever technique. Um, and it looks very similar, but obviously didn't use any of their materials. And <clears throat> well, yeah, let's just start blowing stuff around, see what happens. All 
Okay, so quick notes to self. When I do, well, I, quick note to everybody, whoever is paying attention, whoever is still watching this video. <clears throat> so when I went over the first time, it had a pretty decent coverage, but I stopped halfway. And then I decided, which I probably shouldn't have, I probably should have just blown it with my mouth over on the other side. I decided to pull the paint this way, which basically gave us this this area right here that has a like no lacing right there, um, and piled a lot of that yellow on top of that red, which is definitely giving giving us like that fiery lava look, which is cool. I just wish there was some lacing running in between there. So now again to keep in the spirit of the whole blossom thing i'm not going to blow anymore i'm just going to start tilting it around i'm not going to tilt it to the edges because i'm thinking because of these paints the way they are mixed it's going to thin them out too much kind of like the way it's already uh, blending into the whites on the outsides and yeah i just want to keep like a nice hopefully keep like a nice uh negative white space all the way around it we're just going to gently rock it back and forth. And for those of you guys that are new here or have not seen those videos, I will... Uh, let's see if I can do it right. Let's see if I can do it right. I'm going to link one of the videos right here. Go check it out if you want. I used black, I believe. That gave me some pretty cool black lacing. Um, but yeah, it came out pretty cool. That one was done over the summer. And I think, if I remember correctly, I did it on a piece of acrylic. So it was an, ac an acrylic pour on a piece of acrylic. <laughs> so... It's not wanting to spread too much, which I guess is the good thing. But I did want it to make it a little bit bigger than this. So we might have to go to one edge. See, yeah, it's doing it. It's thinning out the paint too much. So we're going to call this, we're going to call this the comet streaking through the night sky. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully that center stays intact. And that, that back end will end up looking like the tail end of a comet. Maybe. I don't know. If it holds up straight, I'm going to see if I can't get rid of a lot of this outside blue edge. Hopefully. No, because that center is stretching out too much. We're going to bring it back. I got another idea. Okay. All right. So, if we can't do that, then how about we do she's Louise. <laughs> I always wear gloves, ladies and gentlemen. What are we to do, ladies and gentlemen? I got a plan. I got us a plan. Might work, it might not work. We're about to find out. Alright, so the idea is we are going to do one of the little flower thingies. But with just a little bit of paint. Maybe more right there so we can have a little bit more better spread. Cool. Okay. Don't know what the hell it's looking like, but we're gonna do it one more time right there. What we're gonna use, what else are we gonna use? We're not gonna use that cup. We're gonna use this cup. All right.
groovy. Cool beans. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call this good. Maybe not. Hold on. Let's play with some paint. No more. No more. Ladies and gentlemen, won't bring it up for a close up. And yeah, I'm going to first try to clean my hands before I touch the camera. So I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a, and again, I, I make up these terms. I don't know what they're actually called. I just call it a modified Dutch pour. Why? Because I pour paint, I blow it around, and yeah. So if there's another technical name, then let me know. But so here, as if you watched the <laughs> the beginning of the video it i think it was a decent save i added a few more little areas of color just to kind of fill in the space and uh, maybe hid a few of the i guess the areas that got a little messed up but i'm definitely having issues with this white paint it is a little bit too watery maybe i don't know but I still dig it. I love these colors. I love the way they blend together and how they form different shades of, well, other colors. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know. That was a weird pause. Um, <laughs> let me know where you guys are watching from. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a like. If you don't like the video, give it a like anyways. It helps the channel. And uh, yeah, check out the video in the end screen. If it lets me at it i don't know i'm not quite sure how this whole youtube stuff works but thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye